One, two, testing. Good evening, good evening, ladies and ladies and gentlemen, guys and Galvestons. Welcome to John's Veranda live from Salen in Sweden on a Saturday night. How are you doing? Um, you may be wondering why I'm wearing this get up this evening, and that's because later on, or the, the theme for tonight's show is the American Songbook. So I'm going to take some songs from the American Songbook. Good evening, Maria. How are you doing? Yeah, so that's why the fancy get up this evening, just in case you're wondering. Now, I don't get dressed up like this every Saturday night. I've been getting ready to do a show recently, and hi Ola, good evening to you. So then we have, just outside of Uppsala, and we've got Oslo or Kusta, Costa, I think it is, watching in so far. Good evening, Alistair, how are you doing, sir? I'm in my gentleman's club get up this evening. It's going to be the American Songbook is the choice of standards for the evening. So, I don't know, just while I'm starting up, though, I get kind of um, warmed up with a wee song, which I think should be in the American Songbook, but uh, um, there's a song named after it, but it's not the same song. Good evening, Anna Karen. Hey, Sonny Roarback's Nest, how are you doing? So we'll start with a song I think should be in the American Songbook, and there is a, a song with the same name. It's called Time After Time, written by Cindy uh, Lauper. And it has great memories for me, a great time, I guess, in my life when this song came out. And uh, we'll play that first, and I'll say good evening to everybody and welcome to Salem. Good evening, Karina, how are you doing? Um, yes, shall we get started? I'll sing a wee song and then I'll start in with the, uh, the main programme of the evening. Just get myself warmed up because I've had the blasted cold for the last little while. Anyway, let's, let's play a song. Let's have a bit of that. Let's have... Okay. Time after time, 
Big long ringing on note, eh? How are y'all doing, guys? Yes, 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 yes. Looking very dapper, yes, Alistair. Thank you very much for that, yes. Yeah, the reason why I got dressed up like this is because recently I have been doing. Hi, Tommy, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Da, 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 da. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, okay. can <laughs> From the Strictly Ballroom. <laughs> From the Strictly Ballroom, yes. Ballroom, I find that a very interesting word. That's what we used to call the, um, yes, the Mecca. You know the, these, um, the MC Hammer Pants? You know the big baggy thing? That's what we used to call them, ballroom trousers. Enough of that. Where's my mind going? Anyway, seriously, seriously. <laughs> tag, tag with you. Um, yeah, so I'm dressed up like this because I've been doing some songs from the American Songbook and um, what I really wanted to have this evening is the band with me. But as you can see, the veranda has had a little bit of a spruce up for tonight. Yeah, it looks like a ballroom, is that right? And that's the kind of idea that I was kind of going for here. So, um, yeah, we'll start. I mean, the guys actually recorded their parts in, you know, but I mean, uh, you know, we, 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 I do do this with some help from a little jazz talk quartet and we'll do these songs. So... Okay, see if I'm ready for this here. This is my first time of doing this, so I hope this okay me sharing these with you. But I'm going to start, I can go back in time. So this is why I'm in this get up here. And um, I'm going back in time to 1954 when this song was actually written. This is the first one up out of the track tonight. And it was written by a guy called um, Bart Howard and Kay Ballard. Um, and they wrote this. I mean, think that, um, I think that Bart Howard, I think Cole Porter was his actual big idol. And... Um, I've seen covers of this, who are they covers? The ones I've seen is Nat King Cole, Sarah Vaughan, Brenda Lee, and Oscar Peterson, among some of the others. And, and I've been looking at lots of um, videos of this. Hi, Alan. Cold and damp back at home. Well, I'll tell you, it's really cold here. I think we've got, I was just out a second ago for a, a wee bit of fresh air. I think we've got minus 14 up here and it's been snowing and I've got this, this dashed cold. Never mind though. And we'll try and play the blues away tonight by um, playing some songs. So like I was saying, back to 1954. And this song was when it was first brought out. It was, nobody knew about actually there would be space rockets going into the sky and all that. So the guy that wrote it, and, or the, the pair that wrote it because it was a lady too, it's very important to say that. They, 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 their publishers insisted they want to change it. They called it Fly Me to the Moon. Their publishers wanted to say Take Me to the Moon because there hadn't been any space flight at that point. But they stuck with it, and I'm glad they did. And the guy that I saw singing this was, of course, Frank Sinatra. And if you've been watching this show, for, you'll see me dabbling about with this. But I'm going to give it a go tonight. This is my take, ladies and gentlemen, on Fly Me to the Moon from the American Songbook from 1954. I will drink to your health as well. I'm drinking an alcohol-free nanny state with my continuing kind of commitment to an alcohol-free lifestyle. I'll drink to your good health. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. So, <clears throat> what do I need to do first then? I need to set the settings, don't I? There we are, we're nearly ready, we're nearly good for it. We have the guitar. Okay, let's give it a go, hope you enjoy this. <clears throat> this is my first take, this is Fly Me to the Moon. Oh, one, one, two, two three, three, four. four. Here we go. 
That was Flaming the Moon, boys and girls. Right. So, how do we get on with that? <laughs> hey, Eric, here go there. Then Aunt Sophie's father is actually watching, and Sophie's there as well. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Jenna, Jenna. I look very dapper, yes. People have been saying that this evening. <laughs> yes. Indeed, it is my, a uh, Karina feel has called this the Strictly Ballroom, so, um, good quell from uh, Strictly. <laughs> yeah, guys, so that was the first one out of the way, Frank Sinatra, and Frank Sinatra a lot from uh, Nitton Femtifira, och, um, skrivet av Bart Howard, och okay, Ballard, um, and in the American songbook. Skål igen, alcohol-free, nanny state. Mm. Cheers, guys. Okay, so the next song is a really old song. This one was written in 1934, and it was written by George Gershwin, and from the operetta Porgy and Bess. Now, I think that um, the lyrics here was mainly written by, I think his name, was it now, is it DuBose Hayward, was the writer of this song. And it was, it was chosen because it was reflecting American folk music back in the day and back in from the late 20s and the depression era into the 30s and this made it into the operetta Porgy and Bess and um, the first known recording of this was by Abby Mitchell and of course I'm John Mitchell, Abby Mitchell is no relation in fact she's a, she was a black singer and from the south of America um, and I'll get some more information on that later but this is my take on summertime a jazzy little summertime for you all because it's in the middle of winter and we all need warming up, is that right? If it's cold and damp with you, I hope this warms your heart. This is my take on summertime, ladies and gentlemen, and I do hope you enjoy it. Let's go this up here. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go to... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. I'll turn myself up a little tad here. Stand by. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, the cotton is high. Your daddy is rich, your mama's good looking. So hush, little baby.
summertime in the winter time. Hope that warmed up. Let's see what Sophie's saying here. Yes, that's one thing I want to say here as well. Europe, uh, we have been nominated. We're so graceful, a great, uh, so you know, it's just so wonderful that we have been nominated this year for the Dalakali Awards again as a live up as us, or live up Levelsa, or live experience. And we would be absolutely, um, we'd just be totally and utterly grateful if you would vote for us. Sophie is going to put up a link to that. And um, yeah, please, that would be great. We would absolutely really enjoy that you actually voted for us. And you know, you can vote several times if you like. Um, we'd be delighted, quite frankly, that would be it. So Sophie's going to put the link, is that right, Soph? She will. Hi, Annika, how you doing? Man, it's like the whole Sillers family is watching this evening. They're spread between Farland and Scotland. Brilliant. So. Yeah, how are you guys doing this evening anyway? What's going on in your Saturday night? Much going on? Much parties happening? Oh, hold on here. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Things starting on me here, and I don't want them starting yet. Let's see, that's, that's what happens when you've got live things going on. Yeah, I suppose, back to the show here. <coughs> Excuse me with this darn cold. Next song up then, from the American Songbook. And interesting fact here, that this is the second most recorded song, believe it or not, in the world. I find that quite hard to believe. But it is indeed the second most recorded song after the Beatles yesterday, is this next song. And it's funny because it comes from Brazil. Mm. <clears throat> so it's good that I'm going to link with this to Karina Feel saying that, you know, we've got the Strictly Ballroom here. We're going to do a bit of a bossa nova next. How about that? This song was written, um, I think it came to life in 1963. It was written by Antonio Carlos Jobim. <clears throat> and I've actually seen, I saw the video of him playing, you can watch all the videos of these songs. I watched him playing with Frank Sinatra on the show back in the, the 60s. But it was actually, it, it, was, it was in its own little thing in Brazil. Until uh, Stan Getz, the uh, jazz, uh, the tenor saxophonist, joined up. With, uh, I think it was Astrid Gilberto was the singer. And she sang it because originally it was in Portuguese. And my Portuguese is not good. So she actually sung it because of her English speaking skills. And so, um, yeah, it's a bossa nova. So it's a little bit laid back. And it's kind of like, I, I've seen a lot of people singing this song. I mean, all the, all the big singers, are, um, people like Ella Fitzgerald, Frank Sinatra... You know, all all these big Sarah Vaughan, Billy Holiday. Now I'm not sure if Billy Holiday did. Um, I might be I might be lying there, but of all the big singers I've covered this song. I don't know how many times it's been covered. I know that when I was singing Summertime, that's been that's been recorded thirty three thousand times. That just shows how popular the Irish songs. But I'm gonna go on now to do the girl from Ipanema as this next song. So we invite you to have that Brazilian feeling, not that Brazilian feeling. If you're if you're thinking that type of Brazilian thing, get your mind away from there. That's another type of Brazilian feeling, it's a bossa nova. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, Victor Hugo, we need you on this one. This is the girl from Ipanema, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give it a go. Hope you enjoy it. Lots of weird chords. Lots of the chords here. Now, let's see what we can do. Did I change that over here? That's the one. Oh, yeah. And let's go in here. Oh. There we go. Maybe we'll start from the beginning, shall we? The girl from the Panema. Once she passes, 
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So how did that go? What did you say there, Annika? <laughs> yes, that was the girl from Ipanema, ladies and gentlemen. The, the second most recorded song in the world. I couldn't believe that. <clears throat> More nanny state. Alcohol-free beer. I'm doing my advertising. I think I should get sponsorship from these guys, actually. What do you think out there, guys? Hmm. Anyway, here we are in the Strictly, the Karina Friel name, Strictly Ballroom. Very interesting word, ballroom. I can't sleep away from saying that. I'm sorry. I just cannot stop it. How are you all doing, guys? How is this going for you? Like the girl from Ipanema there, and some bossa nova. Yes, it's that Brazilian feeling. Not that scratchy one, but the other one. The bossa nova. We'll go on for something completely different now. And then I think this, this next song here now was written in the mid-40s for 1946. Written by a guy called Bobby Troop, who was actually wanting to give up life in Chicago and move to Hollywood to be a film script writer. So, in those days as well, eh? So him and his wife climbed in the car, he left their jobs, climbed in the car, and they took the 10-day trip, or 2,000 miles, to Chicago, from Chicago. Oh, I'm really mastering the art. Well, I'm doing something, but thank you very much for that. Yeah, so they moved from, um, from Chicago all the way to Hollywood. And then when he got there, he had this great idea for writing a song. And what he did is to actually write the song. They took the map out and took the, the place names of everywhere they'd been through. <coughs> and it came up with this song. And it's called Route 66. And, um, yeah. Written by Bobby Troop. Route 66. Shall we give this a go? Hope you enjoy this. I'll do a bit of blues tonight. People I've seen playing this have been so many to mention. B.B. King playing this. Louis Armstrong. Nat King Cole brought it to fame, of course. But, um, yeah, let's play a little bit of blues. I'll do some, uh, yeah, Route 66. Hmm. And here we go. Let's put this on down. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Let's put that onto there. Let's put this up here. We have some guitar by Jiminy, by Jiminy, by Jiminy. Let's go in here. Let's go to... Are we ready out there? Route 66. Standing by. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> Gallup, New Mexico, Flagstaff, Arizona, don't forget. 
Something coming up here on my phone here, so I'll just try it. There we go. That was Route 66, guys. How did you enjoy that? <sighs> oh, thank you for the love hearts. Very sweet. Thank you very much indeed. So, yes, we've got all songs from the American Songbook. And that song was written in 1946, as long ago as that. It's a lot of fun to play. I'm having a lot of fun with my old jazz box guitar this evening. That's a lot of fun to play as well. And um, very different, of course, from playing an acoustic guitar. You'd think because it looks quite acoustic, it plays the same way, but not at all, actually. Not at all. Oh, so, yeah, that was good. I mean, it fills you with lots of, lots of energy. And, of course, it gets a wee bit warm in this, you know. I'm not ballroom dancing. I'm actually, well, I'm having a wee dance here while I'm playing to these songs. And hoping very much that you enjoy them. Cheers. Mmm. <clears throat> so, 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 so. Moving on then, the next song that I'm going to have to come out with here. What's going on here? What's going on here? What is going on? There's all sorts of gremlins in the works here. I've got to still figure this one out, you know. But yeah, the next song is uh, one of the oldest songs I think from the American Songbook or the Real Book, um, and it's been recorded by. Let's go through a, a list of people: Louis Armstrong, Benny Goodman, Count Basie, Ella Fitzgerald. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Dinah Washington, Django Reinhardt, Herb, uh, uh, Errol Garner, Willie Nelson, um, Michael Bublé, Eric Clapton, and even, or oh, the one that I saw actually singing this, was Amy Winehouse, believe it or not. <clears throat> she had a little duo with the young Mark Ronson of the song Uptown Funk fame. And, um, you know, this is a, a really old, a really old standard. So it's, um, it's called All of Me. And it was, I don't know how long, I've seen, been every, every copy of the, the real book that I've seen. So, or the American Songbook. So I'm going to try and do this. I'm not, of course, not going to sing anywhere near like Amy Winehouse. But um, this is my take on the standard All of Me. Hope you enjoy it. This is an old one. <clears throat> we'll give it a go, shall we? Good evening, Victoria. What are you saying this evening? Hello, handsome. It's amazing what a wee bit of light and a, you know, and a wee bit of get-up can actually do, isn't it? Amazing, amazing. So, okay then, without further ado, let's get into this then, and uh, let's do a little bit of All of Me. The last video I was watching of this morning was Ella Fitzgerald singing this song. We'll see if I can do any sort of like justice to this song. Let's give it a go. This is All of Me, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoy it. All of Me. Let's have a look in here, let's have a look. There we go, all right. Okay. All of me, all of you. Three, four, all of me. Why don't you take all of me? Can't you see? I'm so lost without.
like uh, Ella Fitzgerald, but, you know, you know, you know, oh no, wait a minute, what am I doing here, what am I doing, what am I doing, I have no idea what I'm doing, it's all tech, isn't it, right, so we go, how long, how long here, a minute, what's going on here, ah, so I seem to be getting low battery here as well, I'll tell you what, I need to plug in my, plug in my phoneo, I need to plug this in, I forgot to plug this in the start, my, my apologies about this. Let's get some power going on here. How are you all doing out there anyway, guys? What's going on in your worlds? We can't be having low battery power, can we? Imagine forgetting that. I've got so many things to actually wonder about this evening. That, uh... There we are. Let's close that. There. Good, good, good. I'm back with you again. I'm back in the room. Yeah, how's it going on? Sounding splendid. Oh, thanks very much, Victoria. That's very kind of you. In the Strictly Ballroom. Thanks for that, Karina. This year, you've, you've named a place now. Let's put my old guitar back on here. Well, <clears throat> we get ready for our next song. The next, in the thrilling instalment of the evening. Should you tell a joke? Yeah, you can tell a joke if you like, Soph. I won't be held responsible for that. <laughs> no, you carry on ahead, my love. You do that. Okay. <laughs> Now we're back in the room, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, of course, the next song then. I wanted to actually say those to the two of these songs that I wanted to actually um, um, dedicate this evening. I started playing All of Me and this next song I'm going to play with a gentleman that actually lived in the village up here in Salem. And his name was Aynor Anderson and we used to have some uh, wonderful nights and fun down at his house. Aynor was, was, was 86 and he actually took his audition and passed for the great heavenly concert in the sky and he left us last year and sadly with a few other, last year was a hell of a, uh, a year wasn't it? So our commiserations and deep felt um, sorrow for all if, if you've lost any friends, family, colleagues, loved ones um, and Aina left us for the great concert in the sky last year but we used to sit around his house and play, the, play all of me and Aina was a professional musician and had a very interesting life. He first ran away from home and he was working with a, with a magician and then took um, a, a placement in a, a very famous um, music factory, music instrument factory here in Elfdal and where, where he was from. And uh, one of their claims to fame was they give Elvis his red guitar that you see him on pictures with. It was uh, Hegstrom Super Swede, which Elvis had, was the model. But we, we used to sit with Aina and we used to drink home brew and mix it with <laughs> with Lingon and, and have some great nights when it used to be the really, you know, really awful, dirty nights in, in, in the autumn. We used to play this old 40s and 50s music and he'd actually recount stories of when he was out on the road with his band or his orchestra in the 50s, travelling to Norway when it was a poor country then, of course. No Norway was Sweden's poor neighbour. They hadn't discovered the oil as yet. And so he had his old contract and was showing us how to pay, how it reflected that back in the day. But um, yeah, sadly Aina's not with us anymore, so I've got to carry on and play these on myself. So the next song is um, a song that was, I'm going to keep with this with a, with a Swedish kind of uh, um, a theme here on, on while I was talking about Aina. I'm playing the next song, which is actually written by Duke Ellington. But, um, well, the music was written by Duke Ellington. I think the... Um, Bob Russell was the uh, the lyric writer, 
and um, I don't remember when this came out, I think it was the 50s maybe, or late 40s, early 50s it came out, and it was a song called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Mm. But the Swedish connection here was, Duke Ellington had uh, two Swedes playing in his band, I think Tommy Eriksson was playing, and I can't remember the other guy's name, Bjorn, it'll come back to me, but forgive me for not getting that, if you're actually watching this, this broadcast. Um, and they, they had a play, they were played a live gig in Bullerbin with Tommy, uh, Tommy Sherberg as the, the singer of the band. Uh, and it's actually called Don't Get Around Much Anymore with the guys. And it's called for Live at Bullerbin. And I think that was in 1979 they recorded that in Sweden here. So um, I'm going to take that song here from Duke Ellington's Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Hmm. And then that's, that's very much the, the story of my life just now. I might be dressed up like this, but I don't get out much anymore. So, oh, sadly, sad, sad. Never mind, never mind. But um, yeah, let's give this a go, shall we? Don't get around much anymore. Written by Duke Ellington and um, Bob Russell. Hope you enjoy it, boys and girls. Okay. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Let's take it up here. Oh, we better start again, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like this, don't get around much anymore. Okay, let's give it a go. <sighs> Miss the Saturday dance. Heard they crowded the floor.
day dance Heard they crowded the floor Awfully different without you Where am I standing? Thought I'd visit the club Got as far as the door Why stir up these memories? Been invited on dates. Might have gone, but what for? I'll be different without you. Get around me. I'll be different without you. Don't get around much anymore. Duke Ellington, don't get around much anymore. So, 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 so. There we go, come to the end about how are you enjoying them? This is a, a bit different for me. Good evening, Anova. Yes, 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 indeed. I'm coming to the last of my little selection of tunes for the evening, but this has been me, the, uh, John's Veranda, the American Songbook Standards this evening. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the other thing is too, as um, Sophie has been actually pushing on this, we are um, been absolutely we're delighted to have been nominated for the Della Carly Awards Best Live Experience, and um, we would be absolutely delighted and super grateful if you would vote for us. And Sophie has put up the link on there. Um, I'm going to do the uh, last of my songs for this evening, which is uh, now in the American Songbook. I think it was written in 1973. Excuse me, by Van Morrison. <coughs> from the album, the song is uh, the album of the same name. People talking away? <laughs> yeah, thanks, uh, Tack for Sist, Jan Over. Yes, so moving onwards to the last song for my choice of the evening. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for sharing your Saturday night with me. It's been an experience for me too, to be learning how to play dressed up like this. And um, yeah, I'm playing these songs because I... I don't get around much anymore, certainly. And it's nice to play through them and, and a good bit of fun. I do hope you've enjoyed that. So, my last one for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, is Van Morrison's Moon Dance. And uh, I do hope you enjoy it. Let's give it a go, shall we? Hmm. Let's turn them up. Let's get them going. <clears throat> Moon Dance for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we are. Are we ready for some moon dance? Let's give it a go, shall we? <sighs> Sky. 
Yes, indeed. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can take my guitar off now. A very nice thing indeed. It's my old student guitar here, which I'm lovely. Nice to actually play. A bit different. And it's a bit very different set for me this evening. So thank you very much for, for helping me going through some of my songs from the, for a show that I'm going to be doing in a, in a little while. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed being here with me on the veranda as well. It's always a pleasure to share your Saturday night and I'm, I feel so very grateful that you choose to actually spend a portion of your Saturday with me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and thanks for all the encouragement and everything because that means the world to me. Um, temperature here is minus 14 up in Salem. It's really cold. So I'm going to go now and have a nice cup of cocoa or something or Ovaltine. I have no idea. But um, I'm going to wish you an absolutely lovely weekend or the rest continuance of your weekend. And um, be beautiful to yourselves because you are beautiful. From me in the, um, in the suited and booted in Salem, I pass on all my love. From Sophie, who's not here this evening, she's watching in. And uh, please vote for us. Um, Sophie's provided the link. And we'll see you next week for some more shenanigans, which I don't know what will be yet. Thank you for joining us, guys. I'll see you. We'll say night-night and have a great weekend. Thanks very much. Bye for just now.